kwamba every lecturer can teach curriculum sometimes i'm sorry to say that isn't na unaweza kwa supervisor mwanafunzi yote anayefanya hata phd katika curriculum curriculum is a very strong field of study nowadays very strong field of studies ina research zake zenyewe ina perspective zake na ina thinking zake ime grow recently e, kabla hapo kwenye vyo psychology ilikuwa inachukua nafasi kubwa sana na kila mwalimu ukimuuliza mimi nimesoma psychology nimesoma psychology najua kufundi kuweka watoto vizuri na they were not mentioned about curriculum isn't previously but now curriculum is a very strong field of study because it's discussed everywhere kutokana na mabadiliko yanayotokea kila siku katika dunia hii so how do we plan our curriculum who is tunafanya vipi changes tunawatumia watu gani kufanya changes that's that's very important unaweza kusema kwa shirikisha walimu but teachers they are very good in teaching maybe very good in teaching the subjects but not very good in planning and deciding and planning kitu kama kinaweza kika kikawepo yes my final thoughts or our final thoughts we need in in depth discussion among key stakeholders on curriculum for primary education in depth discussion not superficial ya haraka haraka in depth discussion tunahitaji kuona jinsi tunavyoweza kuwa involve how key stakeholders kama ni kweli tunahitaji kuwa 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 involve ni wanamna gani na waina gani na tunawapataje Tumejaribu wakati fulani unajaribu ukiwaita watu wengine wanazungumzia historia ya wao walivyosoma tu. Isn't? Hawataki kuzungumzia kinachotokea sasa hivi. <laughs> Kwa hiyo inabidi ujue unawaita watu gani. Eh. Kuna watu ah sisi mwaka wetu ilikuwa mzuri ilikuwa msaa mlifanya nini? Na dunia sasa hivi ikoje? Na watoto wa sasa hivi wakoje? Na wengine wanaolaumu watoto wa leo kupita ta kiasi wakati ndio dunia tumewatengenezea wenyewe. Hmm? So what kind of And then change need to be realistic mabadiliko ambayo tunayafanya yawe realistic yaangalie uhalisia wa, wa Tanzania yenyewe ilivyo una, 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 kwa mfano unafanya mabadiliko ya haraka sana ya mtaala una nchi kubwa eh kiasi kwamba huwezi kusafirisha huwezi kusa, kupeleka huo mtaala kote kwa haraka huwezi kuandaa labda vitabu vya kwa ajili ya huo mtaala huwezi kutraini walimu wote kwa wakati huo huo na unafanya mabadiliko kwa muda mfupi you should be realistic take into consideration your own capacity the geographical situation ya nchi the kind of teachers you have and whatever you have to be very realistic otherwise yatakuwa natokea mabadiliko ambayo kila wakati yanaleta nini yanaleta yanaleta complain na hakuna mafanikio eh kama ambavyo tunaona kwamba mabadiliko ya 2015 na 2016 bado hatujakaa vizuri mpaka leo although it is almost three years we are still in struggling we still struggling. Sasa tutastruggle hapo mpaka 2000 na ngapi? Mpaka labda mtaala utafikisha miaka second nzima ya miaka saba. we are still struggling. Yes, anything more? I don't think if I have anything more but I will say that kubadilisha mtaala wa nchi is not a small it's not a small exercise. It's a huge exercise. Na kwamba inahitaji it needs a well organized plan and resources kama kweli kama taifa tunataka kubadilisha mtaala kama sasa hivi tena tukiamua kubadilisha wa darasa la, kwa, la kwanza na la pili na wa darasa la tatu mpaka la, la saba tukiamua tena then we need to, to plan mambo yetu vizuri na tuwe na resources na tujiandae na tuwe na very clear plan otherwise tutaingia kwenye 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 matatizo kwa hiyo hii eh, professional paradox ndio isema hapa inatusaidia kuelewa walimu wanasema nini kuhusu mtaala tulionao inatuonyesha hizo area of disagreements na kwamba kuna perhaps we need to do something uh, curriculum is only about consensus there is no perfect curriculum in this world hata ukienda waingereza atakuwa anabadilisha curriculum kenya juzi walitaka walibadilisha curriculum walimu nafikiri karibu waligoma sijui it was a very big discussion in kenya walikuwa wanaenda kwenye competence based curriculum also so there is a lot of discussion kwa hiyo hatu sio kitu kiraisi kiasi hicho lakini kikubwa tunataka tufikie consensus hata kama hatutafikia uh, agreement ya uh, kwamba ni sawa iwe hivi basi mimi nasema asanteni sana kwa kwa kunisikiliza na hiyo ndio presentation yangu a very brief presentation about curriculum 
a brief start. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Mena. Please, let's clap for him again. Uh, Mr. Men Dr. Mena, you brought a lot of really paradoxes in your presentation, uh, but it's really eye-opener for us all. And you brought a lot of things, uh, but a very constructive way. You were looking into curriculum change, uh, standard one to two, and also standard four, three to seven. Uh, and in standard two, one and two, you said the change was made in 2015, and it covers literacy and numeracy skills, activities oriented, supportive skills, uh, and the literacy and numeracy is 80%, while supportive skill is 13, and uh, activities is 7%. But change uh, of curriculum from standard 3 to 7, emphasis is also literacy and numeracy, numeracy skills, and this is across the curriculum. Uh, we also see the competencies in academic subjects. Also, there is something called inclusive competence, which, which I, I think you'll clarify for us. Mm. And also co-curriculum activities. Uh, and then you wanted to understand teachers' perspectives on these changes. They said uh, these changes were significant because first, uh, the curriculum now is able to enhance people's active learning, also literacy and numeracy skills, But they, they had an issue with the, their participation. They were not involved in the curriculum change. Uh, but also they had an issue with downgrading people's uh, learning, self-learning. Uh, self-learning is not there. And also in the, the, it was planned and it was not well planned. It was ad hocly planned. And you are asking us, the participants, to what, sh what, what can we make about the teacher's concern or perspectives uh, on the nature of curriculum change? Uh, you went on and you looked into the subjects in the curriculum and there were concerns about the reduced workload and also uh, inappropriate, 53 of them, but also 26% said less subjects and inadequate content status of, of English subject, there are something that I didn't catch well, and you are asking us what can we say about the subject, because there are conflicting perspectives, uh, they are saying we have to reduce the number of the subjects from 10 to 7. Uh, also, the issue of integration of English language, uh, uh, quite a, a, a large number, 47. And you are asking that, can we introduce oral, I think those were just your, your, your views, uh, thinking that maybe you are concerned about why are we not teaching standard one and two English, and I wonder why, 
because I know you are a critical thinker and you, you are not supposed to go that route. And then final thought, you are requiring that we have really in-depth discussion on the primary education curriculum and also we need mechanism for change of curriculum so that we have realistic curriculum. Uh, I have several questions for you, few, few actually. Um, now you got these answers or responses from the teachers. Uh, I'm seeing, I wonder if you, you had uh, m more questions on them because as they respond to your questions, I wonder if they were uh, also aligning their responses towards the framework that you were looking at. For example, when they talked about, uh, they were happy that they were covering literacy and numerous, especially in the higher levels, uh, the numerous and literacy across the curriculum. What about that and how are they looking, uh, are they looking at them in the course of implementation? I was also I wanted you to explain on the issue of inclusive literacy, uh, how, how they are taking about that uh, and implement that, especially uh, in the context of uh, education provision in Tanzania now. Uh, I think if you respond on those and then we open up for everybody to discuss. Thank you so much. Yes, oh, thank you very much for the, thank you very much, Professor, for your, for your comments. And, well, if I ask teachers more questions, uh, of course, uh, we, in my paper, you can get some, their statements, what they said about, about the curriculum. Now, about literacy and numeracy across curriculum. In fact, I did not go to, the, to this level asking them how do they see about teaching of literacy and numeracy across curriculum. It was, I, I, was not very, I was not interested with this. But from my experience, I know that perhaps there is a problem there. Yes, from my experience, I know that there is a problem there. We want to be able isn't it? Nobody is not so I do want to be able to Uki Angalia Ulem Tala on Avotaka, on Ataka, Killa Somonalo de Fundisha, who emphasize literacy and numerous. For example, come on a Fundisha is sub, who are Kikisha Pia Kwamba, one at Amka Vizuri, one a Soma number Vizuri, one a Fanya Kilakit. Come on a Fundisha Science, one a Fanya Vizuri Hivio. Wanasoma maneno wa vizuri, wanatamka vizuri, kama ni kuandika ese, wanaandika ese nzuri, wanafanya hivi. Lakini hiyo levo mimi siku, siku ifikia, lakini najua kuna, 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 kuna hiyo changamoto. Na uzoefu wangu mwenyeo binafsi, sina mambo ya lugha, kwangu sio muhimu sana. E, we andika unafu andika, tumina I'm interesting with the number. I think it's the area which we can, we can do another study, isn't it? It's an interesting area to see if really. Inclusive, inclusive and competence. This is what they are saying in this curriculum. Kwamba kuna mahali wamezumzia kwamba itaangalia the diversity group of Allah unasema hivi. Lakini from other studies and other reading, inaonyesha kwamba implementation of inclusive education. I study but from other studies. Inaonyesha kwamba kuna, kuna tatizo kubwa katika, katika nchi. Laba wangina wanazo wakachangia. Thank you very much for your response.
I'm seeing uh, two, three, four, and five, and then you respond before I. What are our other? Asante. Tanza na maswali yako, Professor. Kabla ya ku, kuna swali uliuliza kuhusu, kuhusu uwezo wa walimu kufundisha kusoma na kuandika. Wakifundisha pia masomo mengine. Kwa, kwa experience yangu ya shule za msingi, ukitaka shule ya msingi watoto we na ulewa mzuri. Lazima walimu wale wa masomo mengine wawe na utala mpia wa kufundisha lugha. And you expect a primary school teacher to have both mastery of subject matter, but language competence. Because in the course of teaching your subject, you also enhance language development to the child. If you don't do both, don't expect miracles to happen kwa watoto. Kwe lazima walimu wetu tuwajenge uwezo wakuwa na uwezo wa kufundisha subject mata, lakini wawe na uwezo mzuri sana wa kujengea uwezo wa toto misingi ya lugha. Professor, uo ndo uhalisia. Hasa changamoto na yipata huwa tunamini mwalimu wa esabu hafundishi lugha. Hiyo ni makosa. Anafundisha esabu, lakini ya kiendelea kumjengea mwanafunzi misingi mizuri ya lugha ambayo inafundishiwa shuleni. Ilo la kwanza. Jambo la pili, wakati Dr. Mena nikikusikiliza unapozungumzia professional paradox. Uh, pamoja na yale ulio yazungumzia kwa maana ya mitizamo ya walimu. Lakini mitizamo hile kama ulivosema inatokana sana na uwelewa wao kuhusu mtala wenyewe. Eh? Perspective yao to curriculum change ina eminate kwenye conception ya curriculum yenyewe. How do they perceive the curriculum itself? You are talking of competence based curriculum. How do they understand Competence-based curriculum will inform a lot their practice. Kwa hiyo, tukiangalia wanavyo walimu wanavyo chagua mbinu za kufundishia. Walimu wanavyo tengeneza assessment tools. Walimu wanavyo, tengene, wanavyo washilikisha wanafunzi katika kujifunza. Kuna tokana na uwelewa wao wanamuna utakilizaji wa mtaala. So, we cannot expect walimu wawe na mtizamo ambao ni chanya. Kama perception yao ya mtala wenyewe pia, sio chanya. Lakini, jambo la pili ambolo na amini linachangia sana kuwa na, kuwa na, na mkanganyiko, mahali fulani tuna, tumekuwa na mapungufu katika misingi ya kufanya karikula mchenji. Kwa mtizamo wangu, na amini, maboresho mazuri ya mtala lazima anze kuboresha elimu ya walimu. Kwa mba kama tunafikilia kuwa na mtala wa ina fulani kwa, 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 kwa wanafunzi mtekelezaji ni mwalimu tuanze kumuandaa mwalimu kwanza and then tuandae wasimamizi kwa sababu tuna, tunapeleka mtala tunabalisha mtala wa, wa madarasani mwalimu kuu atakaye simamia kazi za kila siku za mwalimu hajaandaliwa eh? lakini walimu wenyewe watakao tekeleza ule mtala kila siku nao hawajafanya nini hawajaandaliwa kwa tumepeleka mtala hatujawapelekea vitabu hatujawajengea uwezo and then natigemia wafanya maajabu. Lazima wate resist change. Unajua binadamu kutuwa umbwa, hatu kuumbwa kwa accept mabadiliko kiraisi raisi. Kusabu ya mazoea. Kwayo lazima tuanze kujenga mihimili ya kusimamia utekelezaji wa yale unataka kuyatekeleza kwanza kabla kwanza utekelezaji wa jamba usika. Uo mtiza mwa. Kwayo mara nyingi tumekua tukiangalia sana madarasani, tunasahu walimu. As we speak, teach education kalikula mzote Se mkubwa ya bado ziko kwenye, kwenye mfumo wa zamani. Tivi nawe ongea ndo tumeanza mchakato wa kureview teacher education curriculum yeze kwa line na competence based curriculum. But to what extent our, our universities ambazo ziko vila utono mazikatea kupanga mitala yao na wenyewa na align na mitala ambayo nitakilezo mashuleni. Na ndo mwana unapata graduate ambayo kumileta kwenye ground hana uwezo mkubwa ufaini or comp comprehend hizo change ambazo unazungumzia. Kwa hiyo lazima tuangalie mihimiligani ya msingi ianze kufanywa tunapotaka kufanya mabadiliko ya mtaala jambo la mwisho nili nitoe nafasi yangu pia la session ya asubuhi mwenyekiti hapa ali, alitoa 
ruksa ya kutoa maoni kidogo kuhusu kama tunaona kuna haja ya kufanya majadiliano kuhusu mabadiliko ya mtaala. Labda nitoe ma- mapendekezo matatu mwenyekiti. Tunavyoongea tunafahamu view ya ya sera imeanza. Nafahamu tenement kama wadau wa elimu tutashirikiana katika mapitio kuhusu mapitio ya sera ya elimu. Sasa moja ya changamoto tulionayo tumekuwa sana na kanganyiko kuhusu philosophical base ya mfumo wetu wa elimu. Philosophical base ndio nayo inform sera ya inform dai mitaala hadi syllabus. Kwa sababu uwezo ukazungumza aina ya taifa unalotaka kujenga kama hujatengeneza philosophical base. Sasa lazima tutue tu, ya sera, sera 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 lazima iseme wazi kabisa. Kwa sasa philosophical base yetu ya elimu ni ipi? Tumekuwa tuki tukiumauma tuki maneno kuzungumza kama bado tunafuata sera ya elimu uh, filo, filo, uh, falsafa ya, ya ya elimu ya ujamaa na kujitegemea kwa kama tumebadilika kutoka kwenye hiyo falsafa tuwe wawazi tusione aibu kutamka kama tume tuseme sasa tunakwenda wapi hilo la kwanza lakini la pili nafahamu kuna kupata nafasi ya kutoa maoni lakini nachofahamu mtaala wa elimu ya msingi umeshaandaliwa na ndisha tolewa taarifa kwenye baadhi ya vikao kwamba mtaala umeshakuwa reviewed tuna mtaala wa darasa la saba ambao unatupeleka hadi mwaka 2021 nafikiri ndio cycle ile ya kwanza ita itakuisha kwa kama tuna nafasi ya kufanya mapendekezo target yetu kwa elimu ya msingi ni kwenda 2021 kwa sababu sasa uwezo ukasema utabadilisha in between hadi ile cycle ya kwanza ifanye nini ndio utaratibu so tuna nafasi kwa elimu ya sekondari nafikiri na vyuo vya ualimu kwa tujipange tukijua tuna room, room ya kutoa mapendekezo ya uboreshaji wa elimu ya ualimu ili iweze kusaidia pia kwenye utekelezaji wa hayo mabadiliko mengine tunayozungumzia asante thank you very much can you introduce yourself please yeah naitwa Laurent Gama natoka chama cha wamiliki wa shule binafsi Tanzania ni mwalimu asante mkuu nitakupa baadaye kuna mtu wa wizara anataka ku respond mtu kutoka wizara okay are you for okay thank you uh, thank you moderator I, i wanted to ask dr meena a question it could be uh, it could be something for his follow up i wanted to know the characteristics of the teachers who were involved in the study and this leads me to my second question which is as why are where the teachers complaining because it's not that when people complain and their complaint is actually genuine a genuine complaint i'm a teacher by profession i prepared my notes i've been teaching for say a number of years i have got my notes so i just go to the class and sometimes i don't even take my notes because i have already uh, I have already mastered the concept I can just go with my piece of chalk and just do that and today you bring a change you want me to read again and sometimes a change of curriculum also comes with change of the books the reference book textbooks and reference books so you want me to read again you give me more uh, more work so sometimes I think we need to also follow up why are teachers complaining and then you also uh, you have to be very, you have to do a kind of a triangulation because they may be complaining because they don't want to study they don't want to read they are busy so i think i i, I think that is something for for you may not have an answer now but i think as a teacher also if you bring a change i've already got my notes and then you we want to read again prepare notes for all the classes you are giving me more work Of course everybody opposes a change. We all don't want change. When we wanted to go multi party, it's only 20% that said we want multi party. The rest 80% said what? We want to remain with one party system. So I think that is what I wanted to throw to the to the group. Thank you very much. Resistance to change. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, Dr. Mena Asante kwa kwa topic nzuri. Na kimsingi is the curriculum. 
ndiyo itakayotupatia wanafunzi ambao wanaweza waka manage nchi katika miaka ijayo lakini what I would want to get from you kwa sababu we are only talking about curriculum change curriculum change curriculum change lakini sijasikia determinants zinazofanya curriculum iwe changed for instance what we have currently you have darasa la kwanza na la pili ni issues zipi ambazo ni really concrete ambayo ina amount sisi ku change curriculum i would want to get that from you lakini pia nina unimesikia ukiongea kwamba hiyo curriculum ya standard 1 and 2 is more of activity oriented heavily activity oriented lakini also i wanted you to, to to listen to your perspective kwenye issues za personality development za watoto kama hizo curriculum zina 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 any element kwa sababu what i'm seeing kwenye maendeleo ya elimu na curriculum na wanafunzi tulionao mimi to me is more of a personality development issues of soft skills kuanzia mwanzo sasa is there any way ambapo unaweza ukatushauri differently kwenye hiyo mitaala ambayo umeikagua na umesema ni mzoefu kwa uzoefu utueleze what is not what is missing kwenye hizi curriculum especially kwenye issues of personality development na hapo ndio naona kuna kazi kubwa kwa taifa la Tanzania issues za hizo skills ambazo ziko related na personality development asante sana thank you coordinator um, please go and then the other one will be the last one before the presenter i come to back na nashukuru moderator um, tunashukuru dr mena kwa presentation nzuri jana nilivona hii title ya presentation yako ni ndogo <laughs> kwamba kwa nini umekuja na kitu ambacho ni self contradictory ambayo ni paradox kwa sababu pia na kufahamu na umehusika sana kwenye mchakato wa ubadilisha au kuimprove mtaalam na nianze tu kuseme hivi Of, of course tume naisi kama tunaangalia tulipoangukia kuliko tulipojikwa amezungumza vizuri pale msa shule binafsi kwamba huu mchakato tume tumeanzia mbele sana lakini sasa tumeshaufanya tuna haja pia ya kulaumiana sana ni nikianza kurudi nyuma kwa sasa hivi tuna 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 kwenye kwenye mchakato mzima wa ku, ku, ku train walimu kwenye yule mtaalamu mpya ni sema tu kwamba kuna 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 utaelezea baadaye kama nitakuwa very wrong Wali, walikuwa trained walimu wachache katika shule moja na mimi nitegemea kwamba tungetumia cascade mode approach kwamba wale walimu waliokuwa trained labda wangeenda ku train walimu wengine ingeweza kusaidia kwa mfano utakuta kuna shule zingine walimu wamekuwa trained wengine wamestaafu wengine hawapo na nini kwa utakuta shule inakuwa haina wale walimu ambao wameenda au wamepata mafunzo ya mtaalamu mpya. Kwa hiyo inakuwa kama conflicting pale shuleni walimu hawajui nini wafanye. Ndio maana hata hii study yako imeonekana kuna baadhi ya walimu ambao wanajua wanafanya wana, hawajui kinachoendelea kwenye mtaalamu. Imekuwa kama tuna shule mbili katika shule moja kitu ambacho ni, ni kina, kina kinzana sana. Lakini kitu kingine uh, umezungumza kuhusu swala la kuchopeka na umeelezea vizuri sana kwamba wanafunzi wajue kusoma na kuandika au wakiwa na madarasa ya juu hapa classes waendelee kujifunza kusoma na kuandika nafikiri sijajua kama ulipitia ni research ambayo ilifanyika wakati wa kuandaa mtaala huu mpya nafikiri sijajua kama ulihusishwa lakini ni kwamba kilichofanyika na ninachoelewa na nivo kwa sababu pia na declare interest ni nilikuwa pati ya wakufunza walio train walimu kuhusu mtaalamu mpya lafikiri tatizo ilikuwa ni kwamba kuna baadhi ya walimu pamoja na wanafunzi walifanya research kwamba kulikuwa kuna msamiati mzuri sana wanasema 
wanasoma kipurule sijui kama dr mena utakuwa unakumbuka kipurule kwa maana kwamba mwanafunzi amemaliza au yuko darasa la saba still hajui kusoma wala kuandika ndo hii emphasis ya kusema kwamba darasa la tatu mpaka la sita waendelee kufundishwa kusoma na kuandika despite kwamba mwalimu huyo hajui hajui either lugha mwalimu sabati hajui lugha kwa hiyo ungetusaidia pia dr mena kwa sababu likuepo utoe clarification hapa asante sana Thank you very much. Was it you? Ante. Uh, na mimi na maswali kama mawili. Mena. Kwaza tushukuru kwa presentation yake ambayo inatufungua macho na kutuonyesha ni wapi tunaenda. Lakini ni wakata present kwa najiuliza maswali. Kwa mba labda wakata nafanya ule utafiti ingawa ni mdogo lakini uliusianishaje na utekelezaji wa hii sera sera yetu 2014 ambayo tumekuwa tukitekeleza lakini kwa mashaka mashaka sasa hivi tunataka ku review ingawa hatujaanza vizuri nitaka unionyeshe hapo element kwa sababu oh, tulitengeneza mtaro wa darasa la kwanza la pili alafu baada ya hapo wakatengeneza wala tatu mpaka la sita saa hizi natengenezwa wala saba nataka yani utuhusianishie vizuri hapo tuone tume, tumetokaje kwa sababu na, 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 ninajua mabadiliko haya ya, ya, ya kwenye mtaala ni kwa sababu tulitaka tu, tu, tu suit kwenye sera ya elimu ya mwaka 2014 lakini mimi binafsi napata changamoto ni, ni namna gani tumeweza kuikapta katika mabadiliko haya na sasa hivi tunataka kufanya tena mabadiliko mengine where are we lakini pia nikaja swala la ili ni la wote sisi wadau okay tunavyofanya mabadiliko na tunamwangalia huyu mwalimu lakini nani anatakiwa amtrain kwa sababu kama alivyosema msemaji aliyotangulia hapa wale walimu walio trainiwa watu wa serikalini wa wizara wako hapo watatuweka vizuri darasa la kwanza mpaka la pili wale wa KK nchi nzima lakini je tunavyofanya mabadiliko mengine tuna mpango tayari au tunasubiri kwanza tufanye mabadiliko alafu tupange baadaye kwa train walimu na nani exactly ata train walimu nchi nzima asante Dr. Mena, you want to respond? Asante. Jamani asante ni kwa ah, ma, 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 mapendekezo. Nafikiri mengi ni mapendekezo na unajua masuala ya mtaala yanaendelea wakati wote. Na hapa tunaanza kutengeneza mtaala mwingine. Yes, ni kweli kwa bahati mbaya sana katika katika mfumo wetu kama alivyosema gama pale tumefanya mabadiliko kwenye shule tumepeleka mitala kwenye shule halafu baadaye wanaotakuwa kusimamia wanaotakuwa kufundisha wanataka kufanya nini unakuta hatunya hawajui na ni wapi mfano rais tu kwamba unajua kama umeenda kwenye workshop kama ume, umeenda kwenye, kwenye mafunzo ya walimu kama huyu anavyosema hivyo umerudi shuleni mwalimu mkuu afahamu ulicho nini 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 kimefanyika hana muda wa kukusupport atasema wala walioenda eh basi na wala hajui na kwa hiyo mfumo wetu unahitaji kabla hujaanza kutekeleza at least watu wote wa, wadau wakuu wote wao wanafahamu haya mabadiliko. Yaani katika ngazi zote mwalimu mkuu lazima afahamu wadhibiti wa, wa, wa ubora, wafanya nini wote hao. Ndipo hapo ninakuja ile swali la well planned change. Unapotaka kufanya change uipange vizuri vya kutosha. Na ni kweli kwamba kwenye vyo vya ualimu unakuta kwamba bado na mitala ya zamani kwenye shule imebadilika na hii kuna wakati fulani hata wa university waliwahi kuniambia walikwenda kwenye shule ya msingi wakakuta format ya lesson plan ni tofauti na format ambayo <laughs> dr nani pale eh <laughs> mkonongwa anahangaika na lesson plan kule ni hivi ni hivi 
wanafunzi wake utalivyoenda shule na wakakuta lesson plan nyingine. Wewe usikie hiyo. Wakakuta format tofauti kabisa. Nakumbuka mtu professor mmoja alimuuliza swali, lini mnakuja university pia kuambia kwamba kuna mabadiliko? Lini unakwenda university zetu kuzieleza? Sasa unaiona una, una, una hiyo gap. Unaiona hiyo gap ilivyo kubwa. Unapofanya mabadiliko unatakiwa karibu taasisi zote zifahamu. Kwa nchi ambazo zinafanya mabadiliko mazuri ya mtaala zinatoa time. Rwanda wametoa nafikiri miaka mitatu au minne kabla mtaala hujaanza kutekelezeka. Wanakuwa na vitabu tayari, wametrain walimu, wanaweka space kwamba tutakapoanza tutaanza kutrain huu mtaala laba huu mtaala utaanza kutumika kuanzia laba 2020. Lakini maandalizi yake yanachukua miaka mingapi? Miaka mitatu. Unakuwa umetrain walimu, unakuwa umeandaa vitabu, unakuwa umefanya kila kitu. Sio hilo unaamka asubuhi kesho unakuta mtaala tayari uko 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 nani. Kwa hilo ni tatizo. Ni tatizo na kwa university kweli university zetu zinachukua muda sana ku, 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 kubadilika. Ni taasisi ambazo tungetegemea zitu zisipia zi hedi mabadiliko lakini da kwa kweli wanapenda kuzungumzia wengine huko chini hawapendi kujizungumzia wao. <laughs> eh? Eh wakina mkonongwa kila wakati wanapenda kusema mambo ya watu wengine ya kwa wawayasemi. <laughs> ndio tatizo tulilonalo sasa sijui litaisha lini ah uh, bwana ame amesema uh, mtakuwa nasema tu kutokana na maswali sikumbuki waliosema ni wao liniuza kwamba kwa nini nimekuja na hii paradox eh hey, ukitengeneza baadaye unafanya reflection ya ulichokifanya eh uh, plato alisema and reflective life is worthless life to live plato ni plato ni socrate Socrates ni Socrates yeah. Socrates alisema unreflective life is worthless life to live Usipotafi usipofanya tafakari ya mambo unayo ya kwako mwenyewe hakuna sababu ya kuishi Kwa hapa tuna reflect katika yale mabadiliko Lakini umezungumzia cascade mode cascade mode ina matatizo Na tuliona ile cascade mode kwa sababu unachosema hapa kinachofika sio kile kabisa Kwa ina ina strength zake na ina ina ina, ina weakness zake E, na discussion kubwa ilikuwa kwa Tanzania ni kuwa na school based professional development yani mafunzo zaidi nani ambayo ni very expensive inahitaji pesa nyingi inahitaji kujiandaa sio mambo madogo haya mambo ya elimu yanahitaji pesa nyingi ambazo wakati mwingine watu wanatetemeka kuzitoa <laughs> e, ili uweze kupata hata, hata kwenye shule tu za kinagama kule ku train walimu e, kuna, kuna kuna kazi uwaweke wape chakula uwafundishe na yule jamaa amesema pale ana notes zake za miaka kumi. anaweza kazitumia ana hamna shida <laughs> ningependa kufikiria kwa nataka kufikiria kwa Kiswahili na shindwa mzee mzee <laughs> mihai wafu nimepata shida lakini tulichokuwa tunazungumza sina maana tunazungumza sio kuchopeka kama una, unaweka kila mahali lakini maana ya literacy across curriculum inamaanisha kila unapofundisha unafundisha literacy hasa sijajua kama ina maana ya kuchopeka hiyo Eh? Ina, is, 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 ni kubwa zaidi ya kuchopeka si ndio kwamba ukifundisha hesabu unafundisha literacy na numeracy ukifundisha in, ukifundisha geography unafundisha literacy na numeracy ukisaisha essay za wanafunzi unahakisha unasaisha kwamba ametumia herufi kubwa herufi ndogo vizuri wakitamka maneno darasani wanatamka vizuri hiyo ni kuchopeka eh 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 ndio maana mimi na tatizo nalo kuchopeka toka wakati ule linatumika unakaa kimya kuna wakati unaona watu wanatumia neno fulani lakini kama una uwezo wa kusema unafunga mdomo. Kwa hiyo utafanyaje? Lakini <laughs> kwa hiyo mimi nilifunga mdomo bwana. Kusoma kipurure of course ni kukariri Memo, memorization ambayo ndio ndio issue tulionayo sana. Asrida amuliza swali la sera 2014. Huko mtaala wa 2014 kwa mfano peace elimu ya peace nafikiri mambo ya peace na nini maadili kuna yako kwenye global kuna nini nyingine kama nimekisahau pia tuliangalia ile nani zile SDGs zinasema zina SDG 4 kwa hiyo izingatia sera 2014 ile content ya ule mtaala the content how the curriculum was organized ulibeti sana kwenye hiyo 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 sera sasa 
kuna aspekti za ile sera zinaona zimetekelezwa kuna aspekti nyingine hazikutekelezwa nafikiri lakini sasa inakuwa reviewed kwa hiyo hiyo eh kuhusu kutraini walimu na na training walimu ah nafikiri mwenye mwenye walimu anatakiwa wa train walimu wake kama wewe una, una walimu umebadilisha mtaala you have to take that responsibility that's a responsibility ya kuona kwamba kuna kuwa na mfumo mzuri wa ku wa kutrain kwa sababu kuna levels mbili hapa kuna curriculum orientation ambayo ndio ndio ilio iliyofanyika lakini kuna kutrain sasa waweze kwenda kwa kuelewa mambo mengine kwa ndani zaidi kuna issue hapa okay gama alizungumzia philosophical base nafikiri hiyo discussion inaendelea walimu waliokuwa involved kwenye hii study ni walimu ambao wali wame implement huu mtaala wale ambao wame wala wame implement kwa muda mfupi ndio waliosema waliosema ya maneno walimu wana complain yes ukileta change kuna resistance that's a human waweze kuielewa ile change usipofanya hivyo basi utarudi kwenye notes za za huyo bwana alizosema na kwa bahati mbaya sana walimu wasipoweza kufahamu badiliko wanarudi kule walikotoka that is the characteristics unahangaika kidogo unaona inakusumbua you come back to your green notes alizoni lakini kwa hii elfumbili na haya mabadiliko yaliyotokea moja kulikuwa kuna complaint kwenye nchi kwamba eh, watu wa RTI USAID walifanya utafiti ilionekana kwamba eh, katika Tanzania eh, kusoma kulikuwa kwa kiwango cha malalamiko kwamba wanafunzi walikuwa na masomo mengi shuleni yaka influence ile change lakini kunaweza kuwa na sababu nyingi wakati mwingine sababu za kisiasa inaweza zikasababisha mtaala ikabadilika wakati mwingine dunia tu inavyobadilika ICT kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo kuna kuna vitu vingi. Watafa unfortunate teach ni, 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 ni mambo magumu haya kumfundisha mtu kubehave, kuheshimu, kujali, kuthamini. Ni mambo ambayo yanahitaji training ya mwalimu ambaye ana alafa na methodology ambayo ni nzuri na vitu kama hivyo. Sasa walimu wetu wanafundisha mitihani. Sasa unamfundi. Sasa kuna vitu vingine havitatokea kwenye mitihani, lakini vitatokea kwenye maisha ya kila siku ya shule sina waka kama vina vina, vina eh tunafanyaje of course hapa somo la moro civic and moral education lazima tuandae walimu na lazima serikali tuweke effort ya kuhakikisha kwamba walimu wanafundishwa katika eneo hilo unajua huku duniani eh, watu wengine wana mimi wakati fulani ukiniuliza mimi hivi kama hata form 4 wote wangepata division 1 na form 6 wote wangepata division 1 inchi tabadilika Yaani ni kwamba ndio tutakuwa tumefika tumefikia Marekani. Yaani is, 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 ni, 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 kuna, kuna vitu ambavyo tunatakuwa tu 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 tu, 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 tu sana. Eh, if oh, hata kama tutajisifia na division yani what? Division 4 what? Division gaps you what? There are other issues zaidi ya hapo. Ambazo sasa hii eneo na ile eneo ni linahitaji kufundisha kwa muda mrefu na walimu ambao wameandaliwa pia. Eh, immorality, si ndio? Hili somo wakati wakati tunaliweka hii ilikuwa concern ya nakumbuka mimi nafahamu sitaki kusema hii concern ilianzia lakini ilianzia mbali sana ya kwamba kuna kushuka kwa nini maadili yamekwenda sana chini e, value zimeshuka na nini tukasema tuliweke hili somo sasa walimu wameandaliwa universities na training walimu wa civic and moral education unajua morality ni kitu is a very philosophical aspects and how you do it e, wale walosomea waloka makanisani na wapi wata watajua jinsi ya kwa sababu ni shaping a person it's, 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 it's a very long process hapa bado bado tuna safari ndefu hapa bado wako tuna safari ndefu mimi nafikiri tu ndio ya kwangu ndio hayo tunafikiri sina mengine ya ku ya kusum. lakini kwa kweli mimi kama ungeniuliza leo panatakiwa pewe training ya civic and moral education na kuna somo jipya liliwekwa la anaitwa science and technology walimu wanatakuwa wa training kwa sababu ile training ilikuwa ni ya kk kusoma kuandika na kuhesabu lakini kuna masomo mengine mengi walimu hawakuwa trained na hata training ya mtaala wenyewe in general haikufanyika ilikuwa ni training ya KK kwa hiyo sasa ndio hivyo sasa wataendelea ku kwa hiyo unakuta baadaye wanaweza kaacha huo mtaala kabisa wakafanya kitu kingine alikuwa anasema teri jana intended eh, eh. alafu kwa sababu tuna assess sisi wenyewe tutajua jinsi ya ku na tutapata division 1 asante
Thank you so much, Dr. Mena. So sorry for those who are putting their arms up. Time is up for tea. But I'm not closing, closing. If you have really a burning question and you can't sleep today before you ask, I'll give you a chance when we come back. Otherwise, thank you all for really very active discussion. And let's clap for Dr. Mena, please. <laughs> also, let's clap for ourselves, because we really did well. Now, welcome for tea. We take half an hour, so please let's just go chap chap.